Hey what's up guys Rod Facts here. Today I'll show you a science fiction, fantasy, action, and monsters film, Godzilla vs Kong. Spoiler ahead watch out and take care. Five years after Godzilla defeated King Ghidorah, Kong is monitored by Monarch with a giant dome on Skull Island. Kong is visited by Gia, the last Iwi native, an adopted daughter of Kong expert Eileen Andrew. Gia is deaf, and communicates with Kong via sign language. Here's Bernie a worker for an artificial intelligence company known as Apex Cybernetics. Apparently Bernie is a secret informant or something and manages to hack some data about a mysterious shipment to Hong Kong. After hearing the sirens, and seeing that the Apex facilities have these light nuclear towers. We know that something bad is gonna happen, and an evacuation of place begins. Because Godzilla supposedly approaching, Bernie manages to infiltrate inside secret offices, and while Godzilla destroys absolutely everything. Bernie discovers this strange thing which he assume will be important thing for the rest of the movie. Airplane appear however clearly they learn nothing from previous movies, and fly too close to Godzilla. Who continues to destroy the Apex facilities for no reason. After the attack we learn that Godzilla has been missing for three years. However with his surprising return. This Apex organization promised to have something to stop him. Meanwhile in some school in America. We learn that Eleven is still named Madison conveniently. She is still alive, and she keeps listening to a podcast that talks about Titans from our friend Bernie the information. Eleven's father is also alive. However don't be so excited, because he is going to do absolutely nothing in the entire movie. From the recent attacks everyone thinks Godzilla is now evil. However Eleven thinks something else is going on, and Apex is at the center of the problem. Now we meet Dr. Lin who apparently wrote some books about the Hollow Earth, and these Apex guys named Walter Simmons, and Ren Sarazawa go to visit him in his office. He is son of legendary Dr. Sarazawa. S.R.A. Zawa Jr. shows him some holograms about the Hollow Earth. Where supposedly, there is a complete ecosystem that was never discovered where they want to enter because there is enough energy to fight Godzilla. Dr. Lin's brother died in an excursion in Antarctica, when they were trying to enter to the hollow earth. However the earth's gravity reversed for a second or something like that, and crushed them all in an instant, however this doesn't matter. The important thing is that in Apex, they developed a vehicle to be able to travel to the hollow earth. However they need him to lead the mission. Dr. Lin said, says yes of course. However I need someone else to help me first, and they good to the facility. Where Kong is to talk to Eileen Andrew a former colleague in charge of controlling Kong. The idea is to get the primate out of the confinement, so that he can lead them to the hollow earth. However the only problem is that if they get him are of their Godzilla will come after him. At first she says no. Are you crazy? You're gonna take Kong. When the aggressive Godzilla is looking for him, and you're gonna take him through the ocean which is where Godzilla is hiding. She says yes. Thought Gia is sad. They take Kong on a ship on a journey of several days over the ocean the habitat of Godzilla. Who is also looking for him. This idea is not going to work. On the journey, we meet this woman named Mae Simmons. The daughter of the leader of Apex. Is not very smart, however she still realizes how ridiculous the idea is. And wonders what they are thinking. By this time in the journey Kong is completely wet, and there are still 48 hours left to reach Antarctica. To guide them to the power source in the hollow earth. During the trip we discover that Kong and Gia can communicate, and Kong tells her what we all assumed that he is angry, and sad. Meanwhile in the city Madison team up with her friend Josh to track down the informant recording the Titans podcast. While no one knew the person behind the podcast. Madison, and her useless friend easily find him in Chinatown. There Bernie tells them that while infiltrating Alex. He discovered they are going to make a very strange shipment to Hong Kong. He also could see some very suspicious technology. The girl is native of Skull Island that Kong protected. When her relatives died, however that does not matter much. Because some alarms start to be heard on the ship, and we can tell from the girl's face. That something is wrong. Godzilla appears destroying everything as usual, and turns over the ship where all our protagonists were. After a brief fight Kong manages to get away from Godzilla, and turns the ship around again. So everyone inside survives without drowning. Godzilla finally seems to get away. However Kong goes to look for him again. Throws an airplane at him, and then they start fighting on top of an aircraft carrier. 
with the help of the planes he manages to control Godzilla. However, releases an atomic breath. Godzilla is about to drown Kong. However with the help of an explosion of army bombs, Kong is able to escape. When Godzilla gets away they turns off the engines of the ships that were making noise to make Godzilla think he won. However to everyone's surprise, the idea works, and Godzilla leaves. To avoid alerting Godzilla, Kong is airlifted to the hollow earth entrance, Jia convinces him to enter the tunnel. While the teams follows him in the HEAVs, Madison, and Josh find Bernie, who joins their investigation. They sneak to the apex base, discover a secret facility underground, and are inadvertently locked into an underground monorail transport to apex headquarters in Hong Kong. Where they unwittingly stumble on a test of Mechagazilla. It is telepathically controlled by Ren Saraza, through the neural networks from the skull of severed Ghidorah head, however is hobbled by its power supplies limitations. Walter intends to harness the Hollow Earth's energy to overcome Mechagodzilla's limitations. Inside the Hollow Earth, Kong and team find an ecosystem similar to Skull Island. They discover his species ancestral throne room, where they find remains of ancient war with Godzilla's kind, and a glowing axe made from another Godzilla's dorsal plates. As they identify the power source, the Apex team sends its signature back to their Hong Kong base despite Eileen's protest. Attracted by Mechagodzilla's activation, Godzilla arrives in Hong Kong, seeing Kong, he directly drills a shelf to the throne room with his atomic breath. Mia, and the Apex team attempt to escape in the ensuing mayhem, however their HEAV is crushed by Kong. Kong, Eileen, Jia, and Nathan ascend to Hong Kong, where Kong engages Godzilla in a final fight battle. Kong initially gains the upper hand, however Godzilla emerges victorious after incapacitating Kong. Madison, Josh, and Bernie are caught by security, and taken to Walter. Despite Ren's concerns over the power source's volatility, Walter orders him to activate Mechagodzilla. Now possessed by Ghidorah's consciousness, Mechagodzilla kills Walter, electrocutes Ren, and the attacks Hong Kong. Godzilla, and Mechagodzilla battle, however Godzilla is overwhelmed. Jia realize that Kong is dying so to save him they need to give him a giant electric shock. Luckily Nathan revives Kong by self-destruction of the HEAV, and Jia convince him to help Godzilla by saying that Godzilla is not enemy. As Mechagodzilla overpowers both Titans, Josh short-circuit Mechagodzilla's controls with Bernie's flash of liquor, momentarily interrupting the Mechagodzilla. Godzilla charges Kong's axe with his atomic breath, allowing Kong to destroy Mechagodzilla. After all this Madison is back her father who no one knows what he was doing the whole movie. The three survive happily ever after. Because again the two titans rise. However this time they don't fight. Godzilla, and Kong acknowledge each other before the two go their separate ways. Godzilla returns to the ocean, and Kong to the hollow earth. Where he lives free, and happy visited by the best character of the movie. This is Rod Facts Channel. Peace out.